is cup number two. Things are about to get crazy, people. I think that some things can age with grace. <laughs> Why are you taking this so personally? I don't know, this but... This isn't about you. I'm fine. Move, go somewhere else, start over. Do you have one more bonus one? I have one, one more bonus one. I thought of this at the last minute. <laughs> I, the... I don't know. You just said say this. No, no, maybe you shouldn't say this. See, this is why you should watch the videos that we put out all the way to the end. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the house, Valentina. I'm Valentina and my husband Jack and I are hanging out talking about what makes your home look old. And we're like, ooh, that's kind of mean and kind of below the belt. But uh, we were talking about the fact that, you know, when you go to Europe, we stay in a lot of Airbnbs that are really beautiful and they're rustic and, and all these design magazines, they're always showing these like crumbling walls. Yeah, and, the paint's falling off the yeah. walls and the hardwoods are kind of weird and you're like, oh my God, it's so oh, it's romantic. so cool. Yeah. And then there's like this other version of the house where it just looks old. We are 100% guilty of several of these. We definitely had, I think, every single one of them in this house when we yes, first bought it. we did. So we're definitely gonna be giving ourselves a hard time as we go along today, but I hope we'll have a little bit of fun. We hope you'll hit subscribe before we get too far into this video. Give the video a thumbs up and let us know which one of these you are totally guilty of, which one you have removed from your house, which one you're hoping to remove. <laughs> <laughs> old doorknobs. I think that that's one of those things that when I go into homes, because of course we do real estate and design. So we're in houses all the time. One of the first things that everybody changes when they buy a home that's older are the doorknobs. Now, back in yesteryears, and especially in Europe, we had some amazing oh, yeah. older doorknobs that were incredible. And I remember when we got here, I was like, oh, yeah, like they were heavy and like <laughs> handmade and like things crafted into them, like a lion's head or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or just like the design itself. Like you're right, it, it's, it was heavy. Yeah. And there was something significant about it. And here they're made of like aluminum foil or tin yeah. foil or something. And yeah. you're like, you grab them too hard and they fall off the door. Yeah, actually they do. And, and I think a lot of the brass ones from the 90s, they just make the house feel old. So it's not that having a certain color makes them look old, it's all about the quality. I think the design itself, yes. if you have, we have the brass ones from the 90s that just look so tired and old looking. I, we actually haven't changed them in our office either, which is always on camera. And you guys are very polite not to point it out. <laughs> it's kind of like that. A few of you are <laughs> do not point so it out, not so polite. <laughs> What's with the knobs, kids? Come on. You know what it is, is I think sometimes I want to save up for something really pretty. Now, you can also just do some basic ones from Home Depot. It doesn't have to be outrageous. I personally love the dark bronze look. I love the black ones. Yeah. I think that those are really timeless. The silvers and golds, as we like to call it, you know, it, it comes and goes. But the black is just something that's not really going to go out of style. Okay, so while we're talking about things that look old, let's chat about the rusty faucets because I feel like that a rusty faucet is just a dead giveaway that something's just really old and not maintained. I mean, I think that some things can age with grace. <laughs> that Enough may not said. be the best example. <laughs> let's go with my example. That's true. I'm almost 10 years younger. Okay, so, that's so she's the good faucet, I'm the rusty <laughs> faucet. No, but it is true that when you can have a really nice older faucet, so if you happen to invest in an unlacquered brass, that is supposed to look older with time. It's meant to be that way. And you can still polish it up and you can make it look shiny and new if you want to, but you probably need to appreciate this sort of idea of It's like the of George aging. Clooney of faucets. Yeah. Let's go with that. I recommend hopping on inexpensive places like Home Depot if you want an inexpensive fix that you can just do really, really quickly. Now there's some other places you can look where you could upgrade to something a little bit nicer. And I love brands like Brizo. Uh, Rejuvenation's actually a great place to look for so really good quality. Stuff, yeah. You're looking for something that's a heavier weight and will stand the test of time. Think about how many times you touch your faucet. This is one of the things in your house. Unlike a picture that just hangs there, your faucet is touched constantly. So I personally would invest a little bit more. Number three, 
three. We kind of alluded to this one before. We talked about peeling paint. Peeling paint is not good if it's on the exterior, if it's on the interior. Like I've started to notice parts even on our own house on the exterior, on the exterior where I'm like, ooh, I've got to get the painter out. I've got to get on his schedule and get him out here because yeah. it just happens pretty quickly. And one of the things that I tell people all the time is that you really need to keep your paint updated on your house. It's not just because you want to pretty it up and you want to change something. It really is one of those maintenance things. So I think peeling paint is a dead giveaway. It just makes the house look old and crumbly. And it's a little bit like having just a super wrinkled face when just a little moisturizer on there would go a long I'm way. I'm feeling really <laughs> attacked today. <laughs> Why are you taking this so personally? I don't know, This but... isn't about you. <laughs> I'm fine. No big deal. Oh, baby. You're triggering me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I started <laughs> face cream, but I think I started like 30 years too late. I think so. I, I think you did. <laughs> In 20 years of But you know what? No when you're 80, you'll help. look better than you would have if you hadn't used it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so paint your walls, get that peeling paint off, and use moisturizer, folks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, next up we have wide grout. <laughs> I know that sounds really specific, but we had this in one of our first homes. It seems like a thing that was like really, really in for like a number of years. Like I don't know who decided that. The 80s and that. 90s. I think whoever decided that was the person that didn't clean it. <laughs> or they ran out of tile and they're like, this is so popular in Europe. Yeah, we'll wide have like grout. a six inch grout. You can drive a Hot Wheels car down it. <laughs> okay, it's not really that wide. No, but they're pretty wide. But yeah, I think that if you have some tile floor in your house and you've got that wide grout, it's a dead giveaway. We're getting ready to renovate this new home yep. that we've just closed on with uh, our investor and we're gonna be turning it into hopefully an Airbnb that you guys are gonna be able to visit. But I noticed immediately the wide grout and I'm like, oh, I hate wide grout. First of all, it looks dirty. I, it always it looks dirty. It always looks dirty. You can't clean it. It doesn't matter how much you clean it, it just looks because dirty. Because nine times out of 10, they did it in dark color too. Yep. It wasn't even they did a wide in and a white. And if it's white, then it's really hard to keep clean. I, Mm, you I just can't do hate it. Just don't do it. Wide grout. So, if you have wide grout, what the heck are you supposed to do? Well, move. personally, I, <laughs> just move, go somewhere else, start over, call it a day. Or, <laughs> or we could rip it out, which is what I plan to do. It's easier. I'm yeah. hoping that's what we're gonna get to do in this property. I I think that's such an easy thing that you can do is just yeah. rip it out and lay something new. The other thing that you can do is you can actually paint your tile. I, I think it's actually, there's so many ideas on Pinterest. I've pinned a bunch myself. You can see ideas of how you can paint your tile. When we, can okay, I say they it? were like, uh. Can I say it? <laughs> what were you say? I was gonna tell them a little secret. What? If you haven't been around the YouTube channel a super long time, mm -hmm. here's a little bit of insider information, guys. Don't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. Before this was all black, this was pink when we moved in. Yep. And we didn't have a lot of money. Nope. So guess what we did? She did. I came home one day and she painted the pink tile. Yeah. Black. Yeah, you can paint your tile. You totally really can. can. And that was near a heat source. Yeah, and it was great. We it had was it amazing. like that probably for at least a year. None of it chipped. It was just amazing. Now, I, I will say though that the Roomba on the, the, Roomba on did. the floor, yeah. it did tear the tile up because I didn't seal it. So if you're gonna do it yeah. on, the, on the floor where you're gonna be walking, I suggest sealing it with a matte poly because that way it'll keep it to where you can walk on it. This was actually yours and I thought this was a really good one because this is something that you always notice. And I notice as soon as I walk in a house and yeah. that is the countertops. Yeah. Dead giveaway, dead giveaway. If you feel right now your house is a little stale, check out the countertops and that's probably what's triggering it. Yeah, and it's kind of hard because countertops aren't always the easiest things to fix. No. Like if you if you have a dated granite, a lot of the, what was that, the, there's like one that everybody did. We were overseas for it. We missed out on oh, it. Oh, I don't the know. Hub, hub, hub. <laughs> I can't think I of the know. name. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Rubatuba. I don't know you guys. Okay, write it down in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. We weren't about. here for that. <laughs> we missed out on this trend. It wasn't happening in Europe, but everyone in the US was putting in this one granite and people hate it. They hate it now. So you could have outdated granite. A lot of times those tiled countertops oh, guys. 
Oh, it's Food like trap. nails on a chalkboard to it's me. It's like crumbs everywhere and they never leave because they no, get stuck in there. No, we've had those. We've lived in 24 different places. Yes. So we've had a lot we've of had things to... all these things. Yeah. So we've had that and it's a nightmare to try to clean wide grout tiled countertops. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> I think also Korean countertops can look a little bit old if they've gotten chipped. So Korean countertops, laminate, a lot of these materials can look just kind of, they can look dated, but they can also look old because they can look really tired. They discolor and stuff. Yes. And it stains real easy yes. and it's just really easy to make them not look clean at all. Yeah, I, I think that's why. Uh, Korean is actually all these materials. You can still use these materials. So. I think that if you've got chips in them, that's gonna be a little bit harder yeah. to fix. You might wanna see if you can find a, a DIY for being able to fix something that's chipped. I've seen where people put the contact paper over their countertops and I always cringe because I'm like, that looks great on camera, but that's not really like a lasting solution. We've done that in a few different DIYs over the years. We've like done it on like and tables stuff. and desks and it never, never lasts. Great. So I just personally, this is one of those things I would try to see if you can find a, a little DIY fix while you're saving up. I would suggest actually looking at the cabinets down below and seeing if maybe you can paint those. I did that on, we, it was a million dollar listing. We, they had picked out this incredible, beautiful granite that had all this movement in it and it totally looked dated and old. But then we updated the cabinets around them and it was gorgeous and it sold for top dollar. So there you go. It sometimes the solution is actually just down below. Excuse me, Garcon, a party of 12? <laughs> If you can fit a party of 12 in your tub, that is gonna make it feel old. And yeah. we've seen those where it's like, bring everybody in. Yeah, and it's funny because people are getting tired. I've started to see, it's gonna take a while, okay? I live in the future usually on trends, I know that. So you're probably not seeing it in your neighborhood Home Depot, okay? I get that. I, I live far out in the future when it comes to seeing what's coming, but we're going to start seeing tubs getting bigger because I think it is kind of fun if you can have a tub for two or more. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on who the more is. <laughs> I think that a jacuzzi tub, a lot of times it was those old jacuzzi tubs. And the problem with them isn't the size. And it isn't the fact that they are outdated because you're going to start seeing them come back. It's the fact that jacuzzi tubs, you can't clean them. No. And, and I tried. We had one in this house. And I tried to clean it probably 50 times. I did every kind of bleach. I, and you're not really supposed to bleach them, to be honest, but I could not get the stuff out of them. I really didn't want to take our tub out. I just wanted to put like a, a little fix on our bathroom. And in the end, we had to just take, yeah, it, had out. To take it out. It, it was dirty and you could, I, we could not get ours clean. That's why we removed ours. But now they have all these beautiful uh, freestanding tubs that you can choose from. You've got something that's a little bit more classic, yeah. like the claw foot that we put in. You've got these modern ones that I've been eyeing. You can even do a drop-in tub or a standalone with like, oh, gorgeous, like brickwork mm. style uh, tiling around it. There's a lot of things that you can do that will help just feel new and fresh. Okay, next up we have, ba, ba, ba. this is the one thing that was the first thing we got rid of in our house. The number one first thing we got rid of. Carpet. <laughs> yeah. The carpet is one of the dead giveaways in your home. It, it ages you immediately. Yeah, and, and before we get people saying, oh my God, I love carpet, we're talking wall to wall carpet. I can't even like talk including about dry heaving. the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah. Like you get out of the shower and your feet I dry themselves. I literally can't talk about it without feeling I'm going to dry heat. Where it's generations so before you have dried their feet. It, it's just, <laughs> it's just gross. And the style of your carpet a lot of times is a dead giveaway that will just make the house look old. But a lot of times carpet's just one of those things that's really hard to keep super clean. Here we have these beautiful rugs and if yeah. the rug the rug gets dirty. The worst case scenario, if I just can't get the stain out, is I get a new rug. But the carpeting is, it's wall, when it's wall to wall like that, it's just, 
it does make the house feel old it, it, because that was we, they don't really do that much anymore. It's, no, there's a lot of hardwoods. Maybe hard in the woods. bedrooms and stuff like that, we'll still do yep. the carpets. But. Some people really like that, and that's fine if you really like carpet. I would look at some things that have a low pile weave in them. I would mm. look for something that's, we always put in high performance, uh, high traffic kind of rugs so we want to put those into even in the bedrooms if, if our clients like to have carpet the overdressed window you guys remember it there's 19 straps holding things back there's stuff <laughs> on top there's layers there's poofy things we I had was, these i, I built a, them one time for i you. got a little bit nostalgic because yeah like i grew up with that i built that the thing up on top with the wood underneath yeah, it the and, little balance and all the poofy stuff everywhere yeah like we had a lot of fun with that didn't swag we swag everywhere oh, yeah. i never did swags but no i didn't no, but we swags. still see them in houses where you're yeah. and it feels as soon as you walk in you're like whoa time travel yeah it's like oh this is not just dated, it just feels old because those things collect dust and unless you take down your curtains or have them professionally cleaned, it's like a dead giveaway. And I personally just love, um, I was like, oh, please. <laughs> take the curtains off. No, do. Like, it's like the, the brawlest movement, I don't know. It's like, just take it off. Love that movement, <laughs> always supported that. <laughs> No, but seriously, just <laughs> take the old curtains down. You don't even have to, you're literally talking about maybe a couple little patches yes, on the wall. Yes, literally a few little patches and that's it. And then you can buy something clean and modern. Yes, and... yeah, stay tuned because we're gonna be sharing some of our curtain favorites in the coming days. But I think Amazon and Ikea are great places to look if you've maybe got a taller window. Those They have inexpensive ones and Target even if you've got like a 96 inch window. I think I actually bought 108. Yep, even there. It's my experience that a lot of people do not care if a color is dated. They don't follow the trends, they're not interested, and they've quite frankly, they don't care. They don't want to spend their hard earned money switching out the color just because someone decided something else was new. The problem with that is that it's not just the paint color itself that makes the house feel old, it's also the fact that the paint over time it just doesn't hold it up very out. well. It does. It, it gets dries super out. dry. Yeah. It. If you're defending your paint color, it probably means it's been on the walls long enough that it's starting to dry out. Yeah. It's starting to kind it of looks, crack, it, and, and it just looks tired. It looks probably like a tired, like tired skin. Yeah, and it gets like, like hand marks on it. And just kind of, kind of, kind of gets grungy. So yeah. if you start the sentence with "I love my paint color, I'm not changing it," then it may be time to just update it, even just yeah. refresh it. So when we painted this room. When we first moved in, I've talked about this quite a bit with you, that the house, this center room was actually a beige color. I did not actually hate the beige color. It was just, it just looked really, really old. And when you touch the walls, it just was, just, it was know, really, tired. really dry. Yeah, dry. And it took a lot of coats of paint to get that color just gone because it was so tired. And I think that's what happens over time is that it's not just the, the color itself that makes it feel old, it's actually just that the paint needs to be updated. It's a maintenance thing. You need to maintain the paint in your home. And it's a good excuse to switch the color. Or update if you love blue, but you know, maybe baby blue from whatever, the 80s isn't in style anymore, but you can just pivot a few shades away and yep. suddenly you're right on trend and you still have your blue. Yeah, and same for exterior as well. And we have plenty of paint videos out there. We'll just leave some links for you guys if you're interested yeah. in thinking about what kind of colors you might want to update with. We'll leave links down below in the show notes for you. Yeah. Wallpaper borders. Yeah, it really Whoa. makes the house look old. If there are geese marching in your kitchen, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but to let you know, that's part of what's making your house feel old. <laughs> yeah. Let the geese go outside where they belong. Yes. Set them free. Set them free. <laughs> let them free. Yeah. I think that it is true that nobody's doing wallpaper borders no. anymore. It peels, it cracks, it falls down. It, the wallpaper it's, border it's is just... Because wallpaper itself can date the house and it can also make your house look old yeah. because it crumples and crinkles and all that kind of stuff. It can do that. But wallpaper can also be really cool. It can be a great tool that you use in your home. But the wallpaper border is, it's just old, it's dated, it's and it's not coming giveaway, back. Yeah. It's just, yeah, bye It's bye. a fax machine in your house. Just get rid of it. Do you have one more bonus one? I have one. one more bonus one. I thought of this at the last minute. <laughs> and I just love saying this word, so I'm gonna try to fit it in the video. 
Are we gonna get Are we gonna get in trouble for you saying that? I don't think so. <laughs> it's in reference to a to a light. <laughs> They'll know what we're talking about. Yes. It's not a bad. It's not a dirty word. Yeah, but I don't know if we'd get censored for it. <laughs> I'll just say it and we'll figure it out later. Just leave off the ending. <laughs> the boo, <laughs> buh, light. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, Jack. You turn it on and oh, you're like. Jack, I'm like knocking my coffee over. There we go. We let him say it. We talked earlier about freeing it, so free it. <laughs> it does not belong in the house. And by the way, we did we did have one recently. Oh, no, no. No, we have them in our closet still. <gasps> the boo, buh, light. <laughs> <laughs> that dates your home. It makes your house feel old because it was a trend at some point. Apparently, no one ever turned them on. They just sold them left and right. I and then know. someone, I some don't... kid at night is like, <gasps> it was I probably don't... a guy that sold them. I'm sure it was. Probably a guy that designed it. Yeah, more of a boo, buh type of guy. These look great in my house. <laughs> See, this is why you should watch the videos that we put out all the way to the end. Yeah. <laughs> we always save the best for last. Jack goes unleashed at the end of these. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to see the uncensored, uncut version, go join our Patreon because that's where we let him say whatever he oh, wants. Gosh, so much fun. <laughs> just run free. We just post un uncut versions of <laughs> extras and stuff on there and a bunch yeah. of other stuff. But yeah, join our Patreon if you haven't already. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I do think that that style light, it's an instant just like, ooh. Everyone talks about it. Yeah, they do. Every, I think. There's memes about it. There's all kinds, of, like, it's everywhere. Yeah. But they're still everywhere. You see them everywhere. You are inappropriate. Yeah. Release so. the girls, release the geese. That's the two <laughs> things you should pick up in this video. Oh, jeez, Jack. <laughs> well, on that fine note, thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you had a little bit of a laugh and had some fun and you know, I, I don't think that we should take this stuff too seriously. I think that if we're updating our homes and we want them to be beautiful, we all have that stuff. I mean, we have wrinkles on our faces. We, we get it. We all do. Everyone does. Everybody has the stuff in their homes that we're all trying to fix up. It's about having fun and enjoying the process of creating a home. And I don't think that we should take any of it so seriously that we just get that upset about it. Let's no. just make these updates, update our homes, help them to feel fresh and alive and new and thoroughly moisturized and I think that's what makes it fun. So I hope you do too. I hope you'll hit subscribe. I hope you'll give the video a big thumbs up and share this with your family and friends and let everybody know that you love House Valentina because we are about to hit a quarter of a million subscribers. Yes. We're about Can to hit you a quarter believe of a million. Mind thank blowing. You. Thank you so much to every single one of you that's already hit subscribe and just let everybody know so we can just keep growing the channel. And um, yeah, then I'll be motivated to start that second fashion channel that I've been talking about. Yes. So thank you again for joining us. We'll see you guys in the next one. No, oh, I always hate this part. We have to let everybody go. I know, we have to say goodbye. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Somebody got mad at me. We missed I it on one oh, video. Oh, somebody got mad at me. Clink. Yes. Some of you watched our House Hunters and they pointed out, they're like, you guys were clinking back then. There you go. We've clinked on every continent. <laughs> <laughs> Not every continent. We have a couple left to go. Clinked on that couch earlier. <laughs> no. <laughs> God. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. This is open to the outside. We didn't. I knew we'd always have fun when I married you. <laughs> We'd be poor and broke, poor and <laughs> but we'd always have moving fun. Moving constantly, but yes. <laughs> always having always fun. Always having a laugh. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs>